Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. In this video, I'm uh, disassembling a Merc Cruiser 3.0 liter uh, four cylinder engine, and uh, the customer uh, didn't necessarily want an engine rebuild, but um, I did a compression check and found that it had very low compression cylinder number two. And then when I did a leak down test, I could hear air hear air coming out what seemed like the exhaust manifold over here, over here in this area. Um, but we did we just took the exhaust manifold. Uh, it's a combination of intake and exhaust manifold So when I took it off, I didn't see any abnormal signs with, of the gasket but this gasket between the head and the, and the manifold but upon inspection down here, I just found out what the problem is so That right there Is a blown head gasket right there you see the gasket has been pushed out from between the head and the block right there So that's where the hissing there's a hissing sound coming from the engine so that's where the uh, air was hissing from. So I was right. Uh, I told the customer I suspected a blown head gasket. Um, it was either it was either uh, the intake gasket wasn't sealing, or the intake exhaust gasket wasn't sealing, or a blown head gasket. And I was right. So there's the evidence of the blown head gasket right there. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed to take the cylinder head off and inspect the cylinder on number two, see what condition it looks. And uh, the customer may decide to go ahead and. Uh, um, rebuild the whole engine or you may just decide to uh, recondition the head and have me put a new head gasket on but um, honestly um, the condition of the uh, surface of the cylinder I mean the surface of the block for the new head gasket may not be all that great so you're uh, playing with fire when you don't go ahead and uh, pull the engine and resurface the block at least so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this head off and then uh, we'll see what the inside of the block the uh, inside of cylinder number two looks like Cylinders one, three, and four had great compression. There was nothing wrong with them. They were about 150 PSI compression. Number two was down around, I think, 20 or 30, if that much. So I'm gonna proceed to take this head off and I'll show you. Silver head's now off and I can show you the results. So um, all the other cylinders look pretty good. There's still a cross hatching from looks like either the original build or a rebuild not too long ago. Um, but number two cylinder has some rust in the cylinder wall right there. So, um, I don't know if that's severe enough to reject to have to uh, rebuild this uh, this engine, but uh, I'll have to seek out some. Uh, I have to consult with my uh, mechanic or not mechanic, the uh, machine shop builder, and see what he thinks about this rust. Um, you can definitely feel it with your finger. It's very rough right there. I'm not gonna say very rough. It feels like sandpaper, and I can feel I can scratch it my finger like that. So it's, it's depth seeing. If I scratch it there, you don't feel anything. So if I, sorry, bug got on my arm. So if I scratch there, nothing, no roughness at all. You can hear it. You know my fingernail catching on the rust right there. So I don't know if that'll hold compression anymore or not. But um, and there, there's where the gasket blew out right there. You can see the gasket just come out the side there, and then the gasket itself is right here. That's the gasket. That's where it blew right there. It blew out right there. That was cylinder number two. Matter of fact, the whole the fire ring had come up. Show me where is it? So the fire ring had even separated and come apart. So that's it. Blown head gasket on a 3.0 liter Mercruiser four cylinder. And um, I'll consult with the customer see if he wants to go forward with rebuild or just uh, uh, clean off the top of the engine and replace the head gasket. And go from there. All right, as a follow up to the Merc Cruiser 3.0 liter four cylinder, um, this is the cylinder head, <coughs> and I've had a chance to bring it inside and inspect it. Um, <coughs> this number, uh, the number four there is a little bit wet with oil. That's number three, no problem. Number two is very wet. Um, I believe that might be because the oil rings and the rings got damaged by the rust in the cylinder, let oil to get past them. And then this one is not quite as bad. It's not it's not uh, real wet, but it is wet a little bit. That's number one. So based on the amount of oil I'm finding, if the, uh, if the seals on the valves on this head are intact and holding, then um, the, the rings on this engine need to be replaced. This engine needs at least a home and new rings and possibly a rebore. But I'll, uh, I'll try to let the machine shop give me some guidance on that. But uh, based on what I'm seeing, it needs new rings at the very least, uh, honing and new rings. 
depends on how much wear is in the cylinder board. I'll have to, uh, if the uh, owner wants me to take it apart and check the uh, tolerances on the pistons, then I can find out how much wear it is then. But based on this, I would say the engine needs a complete rebuild. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you found this video beneficial or inf informational or entertaining or whatever, please subscribe to my channel.